Good morning, everybody. I just thought I would give you a little run through of my tool bag this morning. And I will show you what I generally take to friends if I'm doing work in their properties or when I'm working in my own property. So basically, we, one of the things that's on the top, it's supposed to be at the bottom, but it was last in last time round, is some uh, wire crimps for electrical work. If a... Uh, have to change a plug socket, uh, a plug itself. I like to have these crimps on the actual wires themselves so I don't actually split the, the core cables. I also have a selection of screwdrivers. It's gonna unpack the whole thing while I'm at it. I've got a very long one there, which gives you a lot more traction on uh, when you're working with tight nut, uh, tight screws, more screwdrivers. I've got a selection of Electrical screwdrivers. If I like doing plugs or, uh, plugs on like washers or anything like that, I do like to use an electrical one, even if it's unplugged, just because it's, I like to be cautious. Sometimes you do find there is a little bit of feed left in the system. A wire tester. And a selection of, a selection of snips and pliers. Scissors. People who, when you see that my work bag, always think it's very strange for me to have a pair of scissors in my work bag. But invariably, you never know when you're gonna need some. So I always carry some scissors with me as well. The scary one, a jimmy bar, crowbar. If it goes wrong, or it's, something's been awkward, I can always pry it open with one of those. <clears throat> One of my hammers. I mean, the one's in my workroom at the moment. One of my videos prior was in there and I left it up there. Now I do have my primary tape measure, the one I love. It stays out until you press the button and goes in. That is my favorite. That means when you're working by yourself, you don't need to think about it too much, like having to hold it out drag it out like this tape measure like you hold it out and then you've got to somehow hold on to this side before you can move down to move out it works but that one's just easy you just pull it out and you just feed it out all the time so there that was that is my favorite one then talking about tape measures i also have a rule as well these are good for being really precise because it doesn't bend. Well, limited bend anyway. And uh, you can also use it as a straight edge, which is fantastic. Then we have electrical tape. Always good to use. A multi-tool. This, is, this has got me out of problems quite frequently. Because normally when I'm working, this goes on my belt and it's just there all the time. So I've got my pliers, I've got cutters in the middle of it as well. And also a selection like uh, little screwdrivers, a saw, a knife, which is good just in the moment. If you need, you need it there and then, and you're usually holding something so you can't disappear anywhere. I also have a selection of uh, driver bits and drill bits so it's like in this one i've got masonry bits so i've got a selection of masonry bits in there they're only these are only cheap ones they're just my uh get me through the day sort of routine then i've got some screwdriver bits in this one there we go yeah so that's what's in those I do carry a selection of, of uh, screws. I also carry with me, if I can get it out, two spirit levels. The two spirit level routine for me is one goes at one end of a shelf and the other goes at the other end. So I can measure it both, I can level it at both sides. Also, you find that if you put in like shelves up, I'll keep one at one side of the room and one at the other side of the room so I don't have to carry it basically being lazy. So one's at this side and one's at that side. So when I go to this side to do something, it's just there. It makes life a lot easier in the long run. 
I've also carry a work pencil and I have a biro as well. A couple of set squares. That one there is an eight and eight and a half inch one and that's a five inch one. What else do I have in this magic little bag? Oh, another set of pliers. I also keep on me a clamp. Now I like this clamp. Well, when it came out, I bought this absolutely years ago. They weren't really very common at the time then. You get to use the G clamps all the time. So this was a new thing at the time when I bought it. Now it's just everywhere. But this one's a good one because it's solid, it's rugged, you can't break it, and also the end comes off and flips over onto the other side. So let's get that one on right. There we go. So instead of having to clamp things and squeeze things together, now you are pushing it apart. So you can spread things as well, which is really good. Uh, what else do I have on this? I also carry my drip, uh, sorry, my saw. You've seen me use that on a variety of uh, jobs on the channel. I'll just leave that one in there so it is very sharp. And that's everything in the work bag apart from some little stumpy screwdrivers. Sometimes you just can't get into the into tight little corners and they're good for that. Also, you wouldn't see me go anywhere without my DeWalt drill. And that is fantastic. I need to do a review on this at some point because it was just uh, new in the last video. And one you've seen me use a couple of times now on a variety of my jobs is my normal heavy duty hammer drill. I keep a, a couple of uh, masonry bits in here constantly because it just makes life a lot easier than having to look for them. And that is almost it. Apart from a new toy I bought today. Well, it's not really a toy. It's actually really useful. It's actually absolutely fantastic. And that is a new drill holster. This is what I used in the last video. You never got to see it because I was just too busy doing what I was doing. But this is absolutely fantastic. I've got my chisel, which I keep on me. There is another chisel. It's a two centimeter chisel as well. That's upstairs in the workroom at the moment. Uh, a long screwdriver and a couple of short ones. You never know when they might come in useful. Also a pair of pliers, an extension with a screwdriver bit on it and that is good i've been needing to get one of those for a while that was recent as well also in my work bag i forgot to show you i also carry spares of the screwdriver bits and that is it apart from when i was on on the job last week last week's video i also that can go onto the front of it so now everything is there on my belt. The quick release is at the back and it sits on my belt. If I just angle this camera up and I can hopefully see me. It just swings round. Where's the release at? There it is. There we go. That's how it fits on me there. Push it and lift off. And that is everything for this week a nice little quick video for you today and i will see you next week for whatever i get up to i haven't quite decided yet but if you want to find out what's going on it would be brilliant if you could hit the subscribe button don't forget to ring the little bell so you get notifications when the next video gets released and i will see you next week see you later